Yeah, we're going to have a walk out, aren't we? It's start, start raining, so it's it's four o'clock. And how long have, do you think we've got? Tony's got this special app he follows. <laughs> a radar. A radar app. A radar, and it's quite good. Uh, so it's predicted that uh, we've got about an, a window of a, around an hour. Yeah. So we've got an hour to have a quick walk round and give Archie a little walk. Hey, Archie. Right. We're just walking round the site, and we're looking for the gate that takes us out of here secret gate yeah the secret gate there's the key um I, I don't think it is here is it that's not it must be a bit further around it's through a big wall isn't it yes it's through a wall I so can see a wall in the distance yeah there's a wall in the distance so we're just walking around the site It's good weather for ducks. Look at them in the puddles. Oh, yeah. It's certainly duck weather. <laughs> There's lots of ducks, isn't there? Oh, here's the wall. Yes, here's the wall. Mm. Look at the ducks. <laughs> Bless them. Oh, they're loving it. Oh, there's a caravan being manoeuvred. Is this the gate? It looks a bit overgrown, Tony. That's not it either, is it? Well, feet, but we, <laughs> we need to ask Bob Earnshaw because he went through it. We've probably gone too far. We'll just try and find this gate. In fact, oh yeah, that's good. Oh, a little gate in the wall. It's like going into a secret garden. Chatsworth Park. Yeah, and it's left to um, Baslow, if you wanted to go to Baslow. You've got to lock the gate behind you, I think. Oh, yeah. That's good, isn't it? all the trees looks a bit soggy <clears throat> but we'll have a go mind all this puddles lot here Archie doesn't like to get his feet wet <laughs> unfortunately he's going to today but he doesn't like puddles he's not a dog that likes to get wet but we thought we'd just uh, try and get out for an hour you feel better, I think, when you do get out for a little while. I don't know whether you can see that. I'll try and enlarge it when I put it on the video. But the spray off the fountain <laughs> is all over the place with the wind. I'm sorry about the wind noise. It sounds a bit windy. We're quite sheltered where we are on the site, aren't we? Are, get out it. here <laughs> it's very windy anyway i'll switch off for a minute when we get nearer the house i'll i'll come back it's a beautiful house i remember when they were re uh, gold gilding i think you call it the windows it's a few years ago now at a major expense but it looks beautiful especially when the sun shines on it dragon yeah let's go to the river lock and uh, there's a ornament over there oh what's the matter i know there's a lot of acorns on the floor Oh, that's funny. Just um, before we got here, there was uh, we walked under a tree and a big branch fell off just in front of us. That was lucky. And then you got hit by an acorn. <laughs> Never mind. Wings of wind, it's called. 
A person can stand inside the central circle. A person can rotate the sculpture by pushing on the wings. Walking pace. Oh, have I got to push it then? You've got to stand in it. I'm not very good at pushing it, am I? Wow. Wings of the wind. Very good. Interesting sculpture. Yes. We're now back at the campsite. Hopefully we can get back in if Tony's got the key. Oh yes. Archie wants to get in. Oh yes. Open the gate. In we go. A different world. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget to shut it. You sure you lock it? Locked. Trees are dripping on my head. So we'll walk back round to our hitch, which isn't far, just round this bend. And there was, by the way, a dog walk there as well. I, sh I forgot to tell you, there's a little dog walk there by the gate, if you didn't want to walk out onto the estate. It's starting to rain again. So we've just got back in time. And I think it's time for a cup of tea to warm us up. There's some bins here, which is only a stone's throw from us. There's another dog bin there, which is handy. And here we are, our little eldest Evolution 105. We washed and polished the motorhome. The time, yes, it? look at it, it's covered in leaves, wet through and muddy, not to worry, eh? Hi, we're going to have another walk this morning up to uh, Chatsworth House. But before we go, I thought, well, Tony's just outside pottering about, I thought I'd uh, just give you a little insight into Chatsworth House itself. So, Chatsworth House is a stately home in the Derbyshire Dales, and it is the seat of the Duke of Devonshire. It belonged to the Cavendish family uh, since 1549. The house holds major collections of paintings, furniture, drawings, sculptures and books. The house was sold to William Cavendish, treasurer of the King's Chamber, and Bess of Hardwick. Now, if you remember, we did a, a video a little while ago about Hardwick Hall, and it was Bess that uh, owned it. Well, she's the one that married uh, William Cavendish. So if you haven't seen the Hardwick Hall one, and you'd just like a little update on that, pop over and watch that video. Bess began to build the new house in 1553. Her husband died in 1557, but Bess finished the house with her fourth husband, George Talbot of Shrewsbury. In 1568, he was entrusted with the custody of Mary, Queen of Scots, and he brought his prisoner several times from 1570 onwards to Chatsworth House. And she lodged in the apartment known as the Queen of Scots Rooms on the top floor above the Great Hall. The 11th Duke of Cavendish died in 2004 and was succeeded by his son, the current Duke, Peregrine Cavendish, 12th Duke. The estate has red and fallow deer the house is surrounded by gardens and uh, there is a little farmyard that you can visit. Well, we're going to have a walk now up to Chatsworth House again and get a few better photos than we did yesterday. Let's go. Right, we've just got out of the uh, motorhome 
and we're just going for a quick walk this morning before setting off. Anyway, we found the um, secret gate and it was the place we looked at the very first time yesterday. And what happened was we went right round the site to come back to the same place. So it was about two minutes from our motorhome. Anyway, we found it in the end. Here we are again. Here we are again. Well, here is the dog walk and it runs along the wall up there. But we're going back into the estate. So, through the secret gate again. What's behind this? I wonder. Ooh, it's a sunny. Yes, a sunny day today instead of rain. Different oh, doesn't that look better in the sunshine? Different from yesterday. We had a nice sleep in the van, nice and cosy and warm. Here's the dragon. Got a bit closer today because there's nobody about. And Archie and Tony. Chatsworth House. In all its glory. Peak District ahead there, Mantor. We've got another sculpture here. Ah, yeah. Someone's head. A head. They suddenly started appearing on the estate. So, obviously, some artist showing his work. Yeah, that works in metal. Yeah. And then walking back at the beautiful trees. This is the uh, tree, isn't it? Yeah, we were chatting about it, and we said that that was rather large um, sheep poo. And then I suddenly thought, we both thought that there is actually deer on here, red and fallow deer. So, must come out at night and I think, around. yeah, when, when it's quiet and there's no one around, they come out. So I think that's what it is. And there's a lot of it. Let's so get on the path. <laughs> so there you go. That's Chatsworth. And if you go up this um, path here, where those, that couple's walking, um, there's a gateway to your right, higher up, and that takes you um, into Chatsworth Gardens. You have to pay to go in the gardens, and we've done it, haven't we? But it's, a few yeah, a few times, and it's beautiful. These are a few photos we took in the gardens last year. It really is well worth a visit. And we've also been inside Chatsworth House itself. Um, usually, yes, at Christmas time, they do a themed Christmas. And that's lovely as well. 
There is a farmyard, I think it's further up there and then slightly to the left. And there's a little farmyard. We've done that as well, haven't we, when we brought Belle, our granddaughter. So, yes, it is a nice place to visit. And it's even better if you're on um, the Chatsworth campsite because, you know, you're through that secret gate and you're in the Chatsworth estate. So it's walking distance. This is the River Derwent. Little ducks down there again. And it's a beautiful bridge here, stone bridge. There's Tony on top of it, if you can see him. Archie. Yeah, it's really lovely. I won't go that way because the sun will be in your eyes. I'll go that way. Very nice. I'm not sure what this building is or was. But it's got a lot of steps. Tony's going to have a look up, see what he can see through the gate. I don't know if you can go in there, it looks like it's locked to me. Over. It's all grassed over, is it? A lookout tower. But uh, we also have a, a garden party up there. <laughs> and it looks as though it's had some sort of a, a, moat. a moat round it at some stage. But obviously, it's all grassed over now. Yeah. Now I have to look it up. And that looks like an enormous spaceship at the very top. It's got lots of balls hanging from it, all sparkly. We spotted a couple of pheasants around the motorhome. This is the shower block, toilet block. It's quite nice. Little herb garden just there, look. I clean my shoes in the bog. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm. You'll get wet feet. <laughs> yeah, it's very uh, pooey on that uh, yeah, field. And uh, chemical waste and then the dish dishwashing area here morning everyone well we've been at Chatsworth overnight and had a really good time so this is the reception and we're just leaving now so off you go then Tony let's get fired up and Sorry. on our way let's go so we'll film going back down the lane back home. And this is a bumpy bit. Yes, it's all cobbledy here. It's very tight as well. I don't know how people in really big uh, motorhomes <laughs> cope. I know. Or caravans even. And this tiny little bridge. I can see why they don't want you meeting anybody on the way in or out. Yes, we, we wish we could have stayed another day, but as I say, they're fully booked. So it's a very, very popular site. Yeah. I really like that site. You think we ought to book a few days next year? Yes, I liked it as well. And when I get home, we'll get the book out and then um, I'll have a look 
and uh, yeah, we'll book it. Excellent job. we're coming to the main road now so we'll say goodbye for now and we'll see you in the next one bye for now folks <laughs>